A very warm welcome to all our listeners around the world. You're welcome to the Tony Tukumbo Fernandez Show, a show that promotes the true life stories and the success stories of Africans and Caribbean achievers around the world. So if there's a product or initiative you wish to share, feel free to give us a call on 0788-280-9005. That number is 0788-280-9005 or take a few moments to visit our international blog at www.tonyfernandez.co.uk. Take seconds out to subscribe to our YouTube channel today and share the video. We have some amazing guests lined out every single week for the rest of the year. So remember, it's your show promoting African and Caribbean achievers around the world. And today in the studio, we are moving on to Nigeria because we have a uh, an amazing guest with us today. He is one of Nigeria's most unique and original musical artists from time. Uh, he's also known for his soulful style, his folk, folkful songs such as Kokru at Dawn and so many other songs as well, such as Amen. And he continues to have a lot of electrifying energy in inspired by a lot of vision hard work, passion, but most importantly, a profound voice that Nigerians continue to remember today and in future. So uh, it's a pleasure to meet for the very first time the legendary Dr. Chief Bungos Ikwe. You're welcome to the Tony Tukumbo Fernandez show. How are you today, sir? Thank you very much for having me on. I believe I'm very okay, I'm very fine, very well indeed, I'm good. It's a pleasure to meet you uh, in person. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to thank you on behalf of all our listeners around the world for the great contributions you've made to Nigerian music, but most especially also the sweet memories as well from childhood. Uh, for the benefit of our non-Nigerian listeners listening around the world today, who is Bongos Ikwe? I, I, that's a huge question. I, I try and summarize it. I'm only 79 years old now. I went to school like everybody else did, and I spent a whole lot of my time writing songs and singing them. Does that sum it up? Unless, if you ask more specific questions, I'll direct the answers to the question as as they come. Okay. Uh, most, most specifically now, uh, when I was growing up as a child, my early memories were this very sweet, unique voice that rang through the homes of many Nigerian children as well. And a very specific memory that always rings to my, my mind is how unique that voice was, how polished, how refined, how specific and how poetic. And it makes me wonder, who were your musical influences and how did they inspire your journey? Uh, when I was a little boy, I grew up with my late senior brother. And in those days, you wake up early in the morning and play um, songs from, uh, from these uh, huge uh, size albums. Uh, 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 the, the, I, I think they the, are the vinyl thing, the vinyl discs that we had. Uh, there was there was song from um, Portugal, we call them GV records, and the, it, it, each time we played them early in the morning, I, I just laid there and listened to. I think he, my late brother was a great influence because he did play those songs. And then, if you are talking about artists, as I grew up, I listened to uh, some local artists like uh, Jones, Ishi Brothers, international artists like uh, Sam Cook. Brooke Benton, uh, and then of course, uh, as I got older, the Temptations. Those were the kind of music that uh, that I I thoroughly enjoyed listening to. How how important do you feel it is for us to say that again? Please. How important do you feel it is for us to promote African content and values through songs? I think it's very important. Well, there's a, there's a, there's something about 
are we waiting and thinking that uh, our help is going to come from somewhere? I think we have to forget about that. Our help has got to come from us. We must play songs or, 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 or write poems or write books that our people can read and enjoy reading, play games that people can watch. But we, we must not tell our, 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 our talent, our, our production, our, our ability towards trying to impress uh, the, the foreign audience so that, they, so that they can help us. I don't believe we need help. I believe the only help that we need is help that comes from us. We should uh, stop appearing beggarly. We have far too many things but we must learn to understand and appreciate what we have before anybody else can appreciate them. That's well, what I think. That's fantastic. And I believe in but that. The promotion thing now is, 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 is a very technological thing. The world has changed and we must change with it. Now I'm talking to you, I'm sitting in my, in my living room. You're probably talking to me from your office or your living room. So it was not like this many years ago. We must take advantage of this technology. But taking advantage of this technology does not mean we, we are going to forget ourselves and only write songs that will impress other people. If the food that you eat in your house, we must enjoy first. If, if, if you're cooking food for the white man to eat, they'll feel sorry for you because he won't be there to eat it with you. You need to eat your own food, enjoy it, and live your life properly before and if, if 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 what you call help comes then it comes i don't call it help I, I i'm looking for a word for it i don't need help i need cooperation i need understanding we need to understand ourselves if i like the music that i hear you hear me name temptation some cookbook Benton, because they play music that was good they probably never knew there was a man called bong was listening to them at any point in time that's how i want my music to do uh, you don't have to know me. My music has to be able to talk for itself, sell itself. Can I play a song that if you listen to it without, without paying too much attention, the song can attract your attention rather than, rather than me uh, trying uh, everything I can to attract your attention. Let, let the song do the job. That's what I think. Talking about songs uh, making attract, uh, attention, you have over 40 years experience in the music industry. Exactly. Um, You're right about that. <laughs> amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, and you must have seen so many things in your time. Now, the Nigerian music industry has, is not just booming today. It's changed a lot. What are your yeah. thoughts on the Nigerian music industry today? Well, uh, just like anything and everything else, uh, the Nigerian music has changed and it must keep changing. Uh, change is the only constant thing. So let me tell you something very quickly. By the time you are through talking to me, you are not the same person anymore. You cannot repeat everything we have done. It's not possible because you see, if this interview takes 15 minutes or 20 minutes, by the time we are through with this interview, you'll be 20 minutes older than when we started. So the only constant is change. But by tomorrow, you're a different person. And this is what the world has, has become. We must recognize this. Uh, any comment I make now um, is, is just a little irre uh, irrelevant. The only constant is the change. Nobody can stop that. And very quickly, just to, to add a little to what I've said, um, I'm sure you, you, you've heard about, about Einstein, who says that, um, that um, um, uh, the, the speed of light is the fastest that, that there is. That, 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 that there is. But I say that, that, that there are faster things, faster speed, the speed of the mind. You see, you're talking to me, I'm in Utupo in Nigeria now. I've taken you to Russia, you are, you are in Moscow. Yeah, back to England, I'm taking you to China, you're in Beijing. See how much the mind has moved to these places? Why have people not thought about the speed of time? Time is always moving. What is the speed of time? It's time for us to start reasoning. The world belongs to all of us. We Africans in particular must understand this. There is no, we need to recognize that we own this planet like as anybody else does. 
There is no American physics. There is no American mathematics. There is no Russian chemistry. These are universal realities. Let's accept them, use them, and make them a tool so that progress can come to our door and be in our hands. We own these things. But we Africans have believed that technology can be transferred. No, technology belongs to everybody. Like I said, there is no American uh, physics or, or Russian uh, chemistry. These are universal realities. That's fantastic. Um, I've been getting some information that you're working on the moment, on your studio, and also on some songs as well. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure our listeners around the world will want yeah. to know what current initiatives are you working on right now? Um, I'm actually singer, but the country songs that I've written, uh, uh, well, they're about my own experience. And I put, try to put African drums and things to it. Um, the reason I like country and blues is, is a genre that, that uh, takes few words to express itself, um, you know. And I, I, I like to write songs and be able to record them so that there's clarity of expression I mean, to what I do, you must see every word, every letter that I record. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. So uh, I, I don't know if you had my Mustafa and Christopher. I did that so many years ago, but I've redone it again. I've, I've increased the whatever. I've, I, I, I made it more relevant to what's happening today. Mustafa and Christopher uh, is a song about Muslims and Christians. I'm not a religious person. But I'm anti-religion and pro-God, if you'd like to know. I think religion has caused too much problems. When, 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 I, when people hear me say this, they think I'm anti-God. No, I'm pro-God and anti-religion, definitely. So I wrote the song that says this. I quickly read it. By the birth of the cat, by the birth of the rat, the two like birds of same feather should flock together. But due to mother's teachings, the rat's always on the run. Now, mother, can't you see the wrongs you've done? The boy called Mustafa, like the moon and stars are far, but brought up to be forever far from that Christopher. I live in that region, for I know a house Ayaro lost an Ibo Ngugo. I know your Yoruba Bola lost the Tim Kwasa. But due to mother's teachings and religious differences, the Bola and the Kwasa, Mustafa and Christopher, couldn't live together. But if you listen to nature's call and don't let religious differences make a wall, then the Yaro and the Mugo, the Bola and the Kwasa, Mustafa and Christopher will live together. This is my religion. I will live in this region. Thank you. That's fantastic. Uh, beautiful content, beautiful con poetry. You continue to inspire so many generations around the world. Um, on a final note, what message do you, you have for all our listeners around the world today? Uh, the, the, the message is simple. It's a message that, um, that I, I dished out on my birthday, which was 6th of this June. A one sentence. Don't carry any, any, any grudge in your heart about any, anybody. It's too painful to carry the grudge. Forgive anybody and everybody. It's easier for you to do this. When you forgive somebody, you don't forgive the person, you forgive yourself. Any, don't let anybody kid you. If you, have, if you have the ability and the courage to forgive somebody, you are doing yourself a favor. You're not doing anybody a favor. Otherwise, you carry that pain and that grudge for the rest of your life. It will weigh you down, drag you down, and put you down. That's my message. Thank you so much, sir. It's so it's beautiful to see you today. You're looking very. I'm very quickly. Let me add this day too. Let me say this quickly. Look for money as if you'll never die. Worship God as if you die tomorrow. Thank you. Okay. It's been amazing, amazing seeing you today, and we will continue to follow your work. And uh, it's a pleasure. It's a simple pleasure. Thanks for I'm coming. So happy.
Thank you for taking your time to come to my home to take this interview out of here. Thank you again. I really, I really, really appreciate uh, all the effort you put into it. Thank you again, and thank you. Thank you, and I'll continue to be in contact. God bless you, sir. Thank you, my brother. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.